Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, the one, the only, the official, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, or weird homeless guy who ro guys who roll up on bicycles, towing a trash can, and picking up dead televisions. Guy did that tonight. Gray is happily eating her food. Orangey wouldn't come out because he was scared of the raccoons. This guy comes barreling down the street. Two raccoons ran out behind the house, took off like a bat out of hell. The, he, his, his garbage can scared him. He takes the TV on the curb and puts it in his garbage can. What the hell is he going to do with a TV? It may not work. So Orangey didn't get fed. He ran away. Gray was eating half her food. Tiny one was eating her food, and a raccoon showed up, chased her away from the food. All right, I have two items that have come in. One I bought on Amazon. I got a victory with Amazon. They finally converted my card, although they they will not raise my limit because it's a secured card. But they converted my card today to Amazon Prime, so I actually get points for every dollar I spend at Amazon or the Amazon store. Okay, I got tired of. Running out of batteries, so I ordered this on Amazon. No, wait a minute, where did I order this from? Costco, Costco. And I've never had, I've never seen Duracell rechargeable batteries before. So this is the Duracell um, battery charger and batteries. Here comes Fuzzy. So... And by the way, I'm going to say this officially. Um, battery charger uh, and it battery is really hot in fuzzy. here. So, Anyone who uh, comes in and discusses, brings up, or expects me to discuss um, troll posts left online will be banned permanently. Do not discuss troll posts in my chat. Do not bring it up. Do not send me troll posts in email because my last video got... Uh, limited monetization. So if you bring up any troll posts left by trolls, if you send me email about troll posts left by trolls, you will be blocked. With no appeal, no let my friend come back and all that garbage. Uh, I do not want to hear what the trolls are saying, the lies they're saying about me or Kathy. It, and when I start discussing it, it uh, demonetizes my videos. So don't do it. All right, let's open this up. One hour rapid charging. Uh, Pre-charged batteries, although sometimes I've had to recharge the batteries because they aren't charged. Uh, batteries guaranteed last 10 years. Works with all AA and AAA batteries. Charges two or four batteries at a time. LED charge status indicators, auto safety shut off. So I forget what I paid for this. Paid all the bills, except I forgot one because I have to deal with Kathy's issues and then my issues, and she had an issue with her caregiver, her in-home support services. Well, that's not going to work. So I forgot to pay my bills, so she has to loan me money. I paid down all the credit cards. I now know exactly what I owe to everybody. I've been hitting the new cards real hard. I'm not going to... Patty has agreed to take us out to go get cat litter and cat food so we will not have to rent a van I told her I'll pay her 50 bucks and pay for her gas which I will and um, I don't know if Kathy, Patty's going to take cat, Kathy to the recycling place if not we're just going to have to figure something out maybe get call Lyft and see if they have a van so if I had my iPad, I have the phone of the guy who helped us work on the Prius and the battery, and I could ask him to get somebody. I didn't think about that. My iPad isn't working, and I've been wanting to go to Berkeley. I'm still having issues with the sinus infection and the so tooth sockets. I've been sleeping a lot, and my mouth is still raw. I went on the phone to Amazon for an hour today. I think that's what wore me out. I, calling banks and credit card companies and doctor's offices wears me, and county agencies wears me out. All right, here is the charger. So I now have eight, three, 
Oh, what'd they give me here? Oh, that's just... Hmm. Uh, hold on. Can't hold on to this. I need a third hand, as usual. Um, four double A's, four triple A's. So why do I only have... Hmm. I got three... I got four. Okay, I got eight batteries here. Uh, yeah, we went out to Nordstrom, thank you, and uh, I had a cheeseburger, double cheeseburger with a salad. The first salad, they put oil on it, and I gagged. And uh, I almost fell off the escalator because Kathy got next to me, and uh, I pushed the stupid stroller up the escalator. So, thank you. My birthday was Thursday. So I got mad at Kathy. I said, you get next level, you get ahead of me. I'm not going to fall down and break my leg or my back. So these batteries will not stay <laughs> neat and orderly in this box, which is aggravating. I'm going to have to make a little cardboard thingy for them. And the, the curious thing is the Amazon batteries are smaller than the triple A are smaller than the Rayovac or Energizer batteries. So bear with me for a second. Now I got batteries coming on my, you know, everywhere. Okay, I keep running out. I don't run out of double A's. I run out of triple A's. So I bought some. And so now I have a super, super fluidy of boat batteries and I have God knows how many chargers now this little guy here I bought they had these at Costco for 20 bucks with the little holder and the, the charger uh, not as good as the one I have with the lights there's one with the lights it goes red yellow green and lets you know what it's done but this same thing, the USB charging port charger, costs thirty-seven ninety-five on Amazon, and Costco's out of stock with them. So okay, there's all the dub triple A's, double A's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen double A's, and four. Six, eight, I'm not going to straight in direction here. 10, 11, 12, 15, 19 triple A's. So I'm uh, now I won't have to go. I'm out of battery. Oh, 20 triple A's. I haven't gotten the double A's. So now I won't have to go. I'm out of batteries. I got to buy more batteries. I got to buy more. And I want every time I go to Walmart and we had a car. I bought batteries, then they give me a new charger. <laughs> so this thing is getting full. All right. So I paid $85 on my new item. It's in here. I'm not sure what's in here other than what's in here. And uh, this has arrived in my mailbox downstairs. There's a note here. Let's see what the note says. Oh, it's from Top Cat. And this is very cool, but I'm not going to open it up. Thank you, Top Cat. This is not cat food. But uh, this is a map of Pittsburgh. I thought this was a... Uh, maybe I will open it up. Uh, I thought this was a gas station map. It is not a gas station map. It is a AAA map, and it is from my youth, and it is uh, apparently sealed. How am I supposed to get this out of here? Um, he did something to seal it in here. I don't know. Oh, he taped it or something. Let's see if I can push it out. It's a. It's like ice cream, like a sherbet. Um, downstairs. You get in the elevator all the time. You eat pickles all the time. 
very odd thing to eat when you're getting into an elevator. Um, I think they're pickles. And it's stuck again. Put uh, the plastic sheet, or maybe it came with that when it was new, and now I can't get the damn thing out. Oh, that's why there's a, a lip or something here. Well, anyway, there it is. A lithographic map of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 1965. These, of course, are giving away free. I don't know if AAA gives away maps anymore. They used to. I used to have maps of every... Uh, oh, here we go. He's got tape on it. Oh, there we go. Now, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. All right, I'll see if I can keep this thing. Uh, oh, that's where Aliquippa was. That is. I've never noticed that before. Um, New Kensington, Arnold. There's all kinds of little towns around Pittsburgh. Joe Montana came from Pittsburgh. Janet Lee came from the Pittsburgh area. And, of course, Gene Kelly is late after Gene Kelly. And it's got a little tear in it. Couple tears. I'm gonna have to keep this in the envelope. Um, this is, uh oh, oh, this is really fragile. Oh my God, it's starting to do more tears here. We expect apple. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, oh boy, I don't know if there's tape I can use that would, wouldn't discolor after a while, um, oh, there's East Liberty, where an imposter claimed to open a P.O. box, and, uh, there's the Golden Triangle, I wonder if Australian mice hate this, because it's full of holes, um, Lucky Pharaohs did a video today where the Australians have a campaign of killing all the feral cats, and now they're, the farms and the cities are getting overrun by mice. You kill off all the predators, mice proliferate. They didn't learn the lesson of history. One of the popes decided that cats were the tool of the devil, and he ordered all the kitties in, in Europe killed, and that's how they, the Black Plague spread. Now, right there... I don't expect you to see it, but for those who say I'm not from Pittsburgh, uh, where did I just saw it? And now I just lost it. Where is it? Where is it? Now it's your squirrel. Kill. <laughs> point, point breeze. I didn't know there was a point breeze. There we go. Little tiny second. There's Oakland and East Oakland. There was. There is where I was born. Right. Right on the map. There. Little round circular section of Pittsburgh. Uh, McGee Hospital on four, I think, Fifth Avenue. We lived on the Boulevard of the Allies at Joe Hammer Square. We lived at Parkview Avenue. They tore down my building, beautiful building. Oak oak railings. I used to slide down them as a small baby, small child. Well, thank you, Top Cat, for this. I'm going to put this away. Uh, if I had two of these, I'd get them framed, which would be really cool. And I'm getting another item, which I will frame when I get a frame. And I'm getting a new couple of new other items that are going to be coming in. One, two things are coming in. And one, one piece of equipment for the channel. That's in. So. And put it away. Okay. Um.
I I use road maps. What are you gonna do when the power goes out? Your phone or your iPad? You gonna look look in a dead phone? <laughs> I used to have a I used to have a holder. I don't think I have it anymore. I got it from uh, Rand McNally. You could hold nine road maps. I used to have a Thomas Brothers map book of San Francisco, California, the Bay Area. I used to drive around the Bay Area all the way and go all the way to Reno. So when I go to a new city, I would have a map of that city, and I say, okay, I want to go to Reno. I haven't been here in 30 years, or L.A. or Vegas. And I like maps because uh, if you're stuck out, you take a wrong turn, and you, you wind up in the darkness, and you don't know where you are. Now, the car is now GPS. Not all of them, but back in the old days, there was no GPS. I still have it, some of it for AAA from the 80s and 70s where you could put it on your PC or your Mac or your, uh, in some cases, even your Apple II where you could have roadmaps to the cities and how to trip plan and all this stuff. So, um, so this is why I like maps. Okay, um, so I paid down the Target bill. We paid down Kathy's Bank of America card, that will be, I put $135 on it. This is why I'm broke. <laughs> um, and uh, may not be broke for too long because now 100 senators and congressmen are tell, asking Biden to come up with a $2,000 a month stimulus check and recurring stimulus check. There's a petition created by a restaurateur in Colorado where two million people have signed it, and now numerous economies have sent a letter to Biden and Harris saying stimulus checks are still needed, and they're absolutely right. So we have paid down the Bank of America card way, way below $200, so that will be paid off in July. And then we're going to start hitting Kathy's Credit One card. I think she owes about half a grand on that. And then the one that's going to hurt the uh, Merrick Bank card, and that's 2200 But I told her, if you and I have our credit cards paid off, I can probably dump 250 on the car fund. You get us $2,000 check and a recurring $1,000 check a month. I will give her a thousand because I still haven't gotten the coin wounds out and then uh, use the rest to save up for a second car. I emailed somebody. I don't, I, I don't remember if I emailed Jimmy or not. I emailed one guy who said he was banned that he wasn't banned. I checked it out, but uh, I sit here and um, I get to the point my eyes start burning and my body says you have to go to sleep and then I pass out for five hours. So I'm looking at these things gradually, but uh, I really wish you'd stop bugging me about this because it makes me upset. Don't make demands of me to unban somebody. I'll do it when I'm ready. If they did something, that particular person annoyed the hell out of me. It wouldn't stop, and other people were disrespectful to me or Kathy. But if you keep nagging me, I'll ban them forever, and I'll just ban you too. So don't do it. Now we, um, yeah, I had well, they had upgrade CDs. My freight friend Glenn, Glenn bought all these. I don't know why he didn't have a car. Rode around an electric scooter, but he had all these Saran McNally and AAA things. I mean, so I have some in the bedroom somewhere. And I watched some cool videos. I want to go to New Jersey. They had, within two weekends, two computer swap meets, and guys were getting mini compact computers from the 80s, Apple monitors, Mac, older Macs, the G4 Umbrella Mac. Got stuff for five bucks or free. And I'm big into old retro computers, so if I ever come up with the money, I'm going to New Jersey and I'll pay some company to ship it all back to me. So, 
Okay, I'm sorry. Just people have been hounding me. Uh, bring back this guy. Bring back that guy. And it's really irritating. So I'm sorry, Jokey. I'm not trying to pick on you specifically, but I'm tired of being nagged about it. And, of course, except for Top Cat, no one sends me stuff. Now, this that map got sent here. Um, I have a new channel item. And... Uh, I have another item. So it would be nice to get stuff for the cats. Gift cards would be appreciated because even though Top Cat sends me cat food, uh, it is getting more and more expensive. The Fancy Feast is 72 uh, to 80 cents a can now. And when I went to Target the other day, and I didn't do a haul video because I came home exhausted. And I immediately went, I ate something and took a shower and went to sleep and slept for five hours. I'm sleeping in five-hour chunks, and then I can't sleep. And then I, if I drink too much of this stuff, I run the cran peach, I run to the bathroom all night or all day. But water is boring. <laughs> but anyway, the shelves at Target... Both targets are completely out of wet food except for turkey fancy feast and beef fancy feast if my cats won't eat. No, I have had... Look, uh, I don't need night terrors. <laughs> I've had... Ever since I got the Pfizer vaccine, I have had horrible, horrible nightmares. I had one today where I was involved with Art Bell and he had a small candy store. I'm not going to go into details because YouTube will demonetize me, but I woke up scared to death this afternoon. I'm, I don't have nightmares and night terrors, but the vaccine or something has brought on my having night terrors. I had night terrors for 40 years and they went away. But they're back. I've been having just horrible, horrible, horrible nightmares. And I don't want to hear about night terrors. I don't want to watch anything about night terrors. And uh, so uh, uh, I ain't going to. Yeah, well, I'm not going to watch any show called Night Terrors or listen. No, 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 no. Because that might trigger a night terror. I don't need any more screaming it. I wake up scared to death, and I've done that about four times now. Oh, by the way, I talked to someone downstairs. She had the Moderna vaccine. She had a slight fever and chills. Had no side effects like the ones I had with the horrible Pfizer vaccine. So, just talked to Kathy. She'll be in there briefly. I recorded a brief video at... Um, Nordstrom, which I will, I will um, post later on. And uh, well, being that I have asthma and my other health health issues, I have to have had the vaccine. Uh, and the other thing is UCSF, where I go to the doctor along with Kathy, is absolutely obsessed with the vac vaccine. And that, theoretically, everybody in the state or the planet has been exposed to COVID, so, which is stupid. What it was, because it would be disturbing and they would demonetize it. So, let's just say it was very bad, very terrifying. And I didn't like it. I woke up and, uh, uh, Let's put it this way, unarmed wasn't going to cut it in that dream. So, <laughs> uh, I wasn't packing, I wasn't concealed carrying, and I should have been concealed carrying a tank. So, um, it was real that bad. No, Art Bell was not taking my candy. Uh, <laughs> I won't go into it, but it was very, very bad. And I did not survive the dream, so. Uh, uh, 
Well, excuse me, but... Um, no, I don't. Because with 6,500 subscribers, I don't get a lot of Super Chat. I should. After doing this for 10 years and over a million views, I should have donations. Just for longevity, so... Uh, okay, Wizzo, stop. Now, I don't know what's going on with this jokey jokeman business, so uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, allow that insulting me. Uh, I don't know how there can be two jokey joke jokemen on here. So, if necessary, I'll ban both. I'll ban the Jokey Jockman. Don't come in here and insult. And I am having enough trouble with my teeth. Kathy calling me for three days worrying about cat, Patty's cat who had babies and the ma mama cat wouldn't have the rest of the babies because Patty was sitting there staring at her. There was nothing wrong with the cat. Patty was staring at the cat and the cat got nervous, wouldn't have the rest of the babies. And then dealing with Kathy's issues, they didn't get all the paperwork for her caregiver, so... You left a comment about poison candy. I will not allow that. Don't do it. In the words of Donald Sutherland's character, um, Oddball, always with the negative waves. Stop with the negative waves. Remember, I don't need to do live videos. I can do a video and whenever I want to and post it whenever I want to. I get irritated enough, I'll quit again. But people enjoy this, but I don't enjoy getting a ration of crap from people. And I don't know what you're talking about. People do that all the time. So that's going to be removed too. No, I had no scary one arm, and I have never made thousands of dollars. Okay. Bye! Well, he's gone. You know, they come in here and they start stuff. Why? To what end? All it, do, it, all it does is disrupt the chat and it, 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 it causes me aggravation and it makes me waste my time. It makes me not want to do videos, which is why they probably do it. But I have other things I could be doing. I definitely need to work on my kitchen. One day I'll get the kitchen done. I definitely need to do laundry, but I've been sleeping. Well, I don't care how unhappy they are. Let them be unhappy to the point of they're not here anymore. Don't come in and make me unhappy. I don't give a damn if they're unhappy or not. That's not being mean-spirited either. One guy created a handle, George is so mean. Not mean. I want to hear your garbage. You're not here on the put on this planet to attack me or to cause problems for me. I'm not doing anything wrong to anybody out there. I'm suffering with pain up here. I was on the phone with an hour. And I haven't shaved yet. I haven't taken a shower today. I, I've eaten a pot pie and a teriyaki chicken for breakfast. And I read finally the dental instructions and found that I was doing it wrong. So, uh, hmm. 
I never looked at this, the Costco ad. Um, but you know, they want to be miserable, do it on their, do it on their channel. Don't come in and do it on my channel and be miserable and make me miserable, make my fans miserable. But you know, there are people out there that get twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, a hundred dollar donations. I get nothing. Okay, let's see here. I don't know what a probiotic is. Hair, skin, and nails gummies. <laughs> you need gummies for your hair? You eat them or smear them in your hair? Osteo Biflex. Sleep 3 Melatonin. I could have used that at times. Lots of Kleenex. Women's, women's products. Women's shaving products. Some kind of skin care. Let's see what else is here. Uh, shirts will never fit me. They never have big men's sizes at Costco. It's discriminatory. It's always thin guys. They all look like that. Watch Jacob Live in Vegas. I can't believe how many super overweight people there are in Vegas now. It didn't used to be that way 50 years ago. Okay. Starbucks pods. Nature's bounty vitamins. Fish oil, hair, skin, and nails. Skechers sandals. Ladies sandals. Men's Skechers shoes. Shorts. Ladies shorts. Shirts. Retinol 24 moisturizer. What happened to the first 23? A Coleman One Push Center Hub Shelter. A Pusquarna Gas Pressure Washer. Just what I need. A ceiling fan. That'd be nice in here. It would cut the temperature down 10 degrees. If, it were my, if, if this were a regular building, I'd go to the owner and let me put it in and uh, you, I'll keep it. You can keep it when I move out. First Alert Fire Safety Products. Blink 5 is fifty dollars after fifty dollars off ring alarm 10-piece kit DeLonghi 4-in-1 portable air conditioner 369 Wuzu air circulator 25 bucks it's a circular fan that's not bad Tommy Bahama solar bollard lights Sunforce solar string lights Contactor grade hose, Oreos, Cheez Its, Duke Shorty Sausage, Kino Nut Bars. Somebody sent me those. They're terrible. Kind Nut Bars. They're terrible. Frito Lay Pack. Of course, I can't chew anything. I'm not going to be getting any of this stuff. Except maybe Oreo cookies, whoever to eat them. Sugar Bowl Bakery Palmier. Some kind of cookie. Sardines. I can eat sardines. They're soft. Uh, Stoop, Gogurt, Noosa, Naked Variety Juice, Hillshire Farms Lunch Meat, which I'm not supposed to eat, Mini Baby Bell Cheese, Kathy's Favorite Hamburgers, $4 off, no limit, uh, Tempura Shrimp, I can eat shrimp, Outshine Fruit Bars, the problem with those, I love the Outshine Fruit Bars, by the time I get them home, they're soup. Um, Turkey lunch meat, green tea, another power washer, four peat leather couch, sofa, and chair set, perfect for cats. <laughs> Overhead garage storage combo kit, a wooden storage shell, fourteen ninety nine delivered. A bigger modular seating thing for twenty six hundred dollars, and then more vitamins. All right, so. Uh, I don't, I'm terrible at names, so I apologize if I don't remember you. If you sent me $100, thank you. I'm, no, I'm reading the, uh, I went to Costco, and now it just, down, now it's gone. <laughs> it was the ad for Costco, so all the stuff they're offering. So, uh. 
Uh, no, I I haven't seen a Kroger since I left Pennsylvania. I, I know they're in Ohio or something. I don't know where a Kroger is. And they're in Southern California, but I haven't seen one in... Mm, 30, 40, 50, 51 years of, since I've seen a Kroger. Although it's odd, I've gone to the stores and there's uh, cans of Kroger green beans, and Kroger peas, stuff like Kroger chili, but no store. So I've actually bought Kroger peas and green beans. Kathy's doing fine, although... Um, She's uh, going to go out with Patty tomorrow, and Patty's got her own shuttle service going to the doctor, but they're going to go out, and I think, I think Kathy will stay at Patty's for a couple of days. I forgot to pay this some very important bill, so Kathy's lending me $75, and I'll pay it back. And I paid off the direct assist loan to Bank of America, $260 is another reason why I'm broke. And then in 30 days, I'll wait till the 2nd of June. I'm going to roll over, get another 500, put 200 in the car front, and actually go in this time. And then use another 100 to pay down a credit card. My Capital One card, Amazon only owned 40 bucks. Uh, let's see, what's the lowest card right now? Funny, I wrote all these things, they all started slanting down this way. Um, Capital One's at 210, but I've got to charge my internet bill, so. But I just made a payment. Uh, it's a bill for something I had to stop. Um, uh, this, I had a loan with this company, and they charged my account two days before the first month and overdrew me $80. So I, uh, put a stop payment on it and they nagged me and said we're going to take you to collection and my credit has gone from 450 to 589 I'm not going to my credit ruin so I got to pay pay them 75 bucks a month till they're paid. I sent them 25 I was supposed to send it to them on the first but I can't go get money on the first because of the bus situation here in the weekend so I'll go get the money cashier's check Tuesday go pay the rent go pay T-Mobile so I have the internet and then I will take this phone to the, no, it was 260. Then I will take this phone to the um, Verizon and then go to um, T-Mobile and say how much to add this and turn this iPhone into a real phone. And then the, the track phone that's sitting here charging, I can just play Final Fantasy in solitaire and I'll be done with it forever. And occasionally look up, they won't even let me look up Weather Kid anymore. You don't have enough memory on this piece of garbage phone, but the iPhone has no problem with that. So, Monty, yes. Mon Montgomery, you, uh, you're here. Now you should change your name to Monty, Monty, Monty. <laughs> Then you could be like the actor in the John Wayne movies, Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Gonzalez. But uh, welcome. And uh, welcome to Juice and Katie. So, um, while both my iPads are sitting here, I, uh, uh, going to San Francisco eats up all my money. I put 50 bucks when I got the stimulus check on my clipper cart. Oh, where the hell are my iPads? Uh, what happened to it? Oh, here they are. Yeah. I gotta finish going. I gotta go through this box some more. There's all kinds of paperwork in here. This one. Which one is crap? This is the one that they 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 supposedly fixed. And one of the corners. This one. I don't know why this stupid computer keeps... Uh, yes, I would appreciate it if you want to send it to me. You can see this. Hold on, let me put the other one down. They did not seal this properly. And if you look, you can see the inside of the iPad. They didn't glue it down right. So, 
when I put the screen protector on, I wanted to readjust it, and this whole thing started to come apart, and it cracked the screen. That one, so they, they screwed that one up. And this is the one where I took it in once, the charging port wouldn't work. I took it in the second time, charging wouldn't stop working. I took it in the second time, it still wouldn't work. The manager of the other store in Berkeley said, bring it in, she will either replace it or she'll personally solder the charging port. But now I paid 84 bucks for them to fix this iPad and they broke it. Because now it's got a huge crack in the digit. And I gave them a digitizer, I got it on eBay, and it rebroke. So I've got two dead iPads. So if you have an older iPad, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I paid them out of my other bank account. So, um, uh, 84 bucks to fix an iPad that they it wound up, the glass cracked because they didn't glue. And I complained because I brought it in the first time. I said, hey, the corner's loose. You didn't glue it. No, they're, they're perfectly reliable if you have repair guys who know what the hell they're doing, and these clowns didn't. I mean, they were supposed to repair the charging port on this one, and it wouldn't, after I got it back, it stopped charging again. And this one, they didn't glue it right. I had a third one that was stolen out of here. So, iPads are great devices, but I have a Kindle Fire, but if you don't use it for a year, all the apps stop working, which is stupid. Actually, I have two Kindle Fires. I went down to the Amazon bookstore. How do I reactivate the Kindle Fire? I don't know. There is an Amazon store in Berkeley, but I don't feel like going all the way down to San Pablo Avenue and then uh, go to the end of the bus line and walk all the way back up the street two blocks or get off the bus in front of the former Texco station. Walking over there and say, okay, can you get this thing to work? Because I haven't used it in two or three years, and it will no long, none of the apps work. The iPad doesn't have that problem. The apps work. The iPhone, the apps work. The track phone won't work, and there's not enough memory on it. Uh, well, um, I don't know how to update the fire. <laughs> and I don't know where they... I have to find the connector for it and the charger. Uh, okay, here's the problem. One of these, it dropped on the bed. It dropped off the bed. It hit the metal of the sofa bed and cracked. So they, that's why I got the digitizer. But they didn't seal it. And the other one, the charging port stopped working. This was a, uh, this is a Generation 7 and one day the charging short just went bloop and they, they supposedly replaced it and it still didn't work. So it had nothing to do with the iPad, it's, you know. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. Well, the one is an iPad Air with the rare Wi-Fi and cellular, very few iPads. And this thing is really cracked now. It's, on, on, on the iPad, the cracks start spreading. If you get one crack, the glass spreads. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's the the glass is spread. So I'm going to take that in. So you got to repair this too. This one was sent to me. It worked fine until the charging port stopped working, and it was sent to me last year. It's not that old, so um, Uh, the iPad Air is from when my mother died, four, five, six years ago. It worked fine until, like I said, uh, uh, it fell off the it fell off the bed, and the the digitizer broke. And I went and bought a digitizer, and I went and bought a home. But oh, that was the one that I sent back east to this idiot in Indiana who sent it to a guy to put the charging port to fix the charging port that didn't work. And uh, the home button had stopped working. The home button is a little tiny button on top of the charging port. If the home button stopped working, you can't, you can't use the iPad. The charging port went bad underneath it because Apple designed this thing with one, to, one thing on top of the other. And if this goes bad, the other one will go bad too eventually. 
And then he took 78 days to have this guy fix it, and then he sent it back, and he, I, I finally threw out the envelope. He sent it back, and he basically this with bubble wrap, no cardboard, should have been in the box, and it arrived broken. So that's why it was in the shop to repair the, it sat here for a year, because I didn't have any money to fix it, and the glass was broken. And that's why I paid them the $84, and it, it's broken again, so. Um, Well, it's not a dumb question, but uh, there's no such thing as a dumb question, but I have one iPad. The Wi-Fi and cellular goes with me when I go outside, when I have this, and I just bought a screen protector, and it's still cracked. The other iPad stays here, so I don't have to keep dragging around the iPad. Now, there's the back of the two iPads. One is a year old in, like, June, and the other one is four or five years old, and... Uh, but the problem with this, and even the iPhone will do this. The iPhone has a digitizer too. The iPhone was sent to me, so I wouldn't have to use this track phone anymore. I want it to turn into a real phone, and it is Wi-Fi and cellular. So, Kat is my girlfriend. No, not my wife. Not my wife. So, um... I just talked to Kathy a few minutes ago. She'll be here tomorrow, and I got a video to post later. So, um, excuse me. This is water. So, uh, I go out a lot, and I want to do videos, and I can do videos with the iPhone now, which. I could do on the Android, but it takes up too much memory, so, um, and as I get more, one thing that's annoying about Costco, they don't accept MasterCard, and a lot of my credit cards are MasterCard, I would love to get a two pair terabyte external hard drive, and if, in some cases, you can take it out of the shell, and stick it in the Mac, and back up this Mac, Get a new hard drive for the Mac. Get a new hard drive for the 2009. Repair the 2010 that Fuzzy broke. Fuzzy the cat broke my 2010 iMac. And after we get the Prius, and after we save up for the 4x4, then I, in the meantime, I'm going to keep dumping on my secured card money until I have $5,000. By that time, whatever variant of the iPad they have, the iPad Pro 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X, sold to Americans, and whatever variant of the iMac they have, the 27, 32, 42, 62 inch iMac, I'll be buying both of those. So I have uh, a new computer. Yeah, well, the problem is I have, I am credit rich <laughs> temporarily, but I'm gonna use most of the new $400 card for cat food and cat litter. If I can find cat food, Kathy and I have to drag cat home. This arm is injured. I cannot carry 20-pound jugs with it. I start screaming. So uh, we're going to load up the van with the help of Patty and go from Costco to Safeway to Smart and Final to Walmart and load up, get Kathy like 200 pounds of cat litter, get me 200 pounds of cat litter. Get her fancy feast, get my fancy feast, and if I can find my pouches, Top Cat sent me these. But these are really treats for the cats. And then I bought three boxes with, I forget, think they were 15 to a box, of these at Target. It's all they had. They didn't have any Meow Mix cups. So I'm going to load up wherever I can go. We got, I feed I feed nine cats a day, counting mine. Now this is let's see, Mama Cat, Kitten, Fluffy, Little Girl, Fuzzy. That's five. Tiny one, Gray and Orangey. That's eight. And occasionally, Pretty Gray shows up. Pretty, pretty little Gray. So that's nine kitties. Well, Patty is. Patty is Kathy's girlfriend. They've been going 
hanging around with each other since high school. But Patty has been mad at me. Here comes Fluffy. Mr. Mal. The Fluffy who will not let me grab him and hold him and kiss him. Because he's a silly mouse. Silly boy. He has two speeds. Forward and he has two reverse speeds. He actually backs up. I'm afraid he didn't beep like a bulldozer. Um, he comes up here and I reach for him and he backs up. But uh, she got mad at me. I chewed her out on my birthday a couple years. Look at this. I stopped and he runs under my legs. Um, I chewed out on my birthday because I told her not to take boxes that were going to go to storage. Our storage. Kathy's storage actually. But And she took them all out of the car and it broke some of the boxes and I got really mad. So she on my birthday I was going to take Kathy and Patty to breakfast. My dime. And Patty is still mad at me. But she finally agreed to take us out and get some back issues are getting worse. And uh, she now has low thyroid. And I'm not exactly doing great with my knees. So she's going to drive us around. I said, I'll pay you 50 bucks plus gas. And I'll probably take her out to dinner. No, it is not romantic way. So stop that crap. We're, they're not lesbians. I spent the entire... I didn't have any cake. <laughs> I didn't have any pie or cake for free. I spent the entire day sleeping because my mouth was still sore. I have tried... My, I read the dental instructions. I was in too much agony to read them the day I had the teeth pulled. I was supposed to rinse my mouth out with cold salt water, no wa no carbonated drink, no coffee, nothing to chew, but I tried to chew because I was starving by the time I got home. But my birthday, I spent the entire day, I took pain pills, I took the antibiotics, and I slept. And I slept today. That's how I had the nightmare, or the night care. So, um... Uh, Kathy is not lesbian, so, well, you don't uh, think that Kathy's girlfriend and her are in a romantic relationship that is disgusting and it's uncalled for, and don't tell me this, you didn't mean any offense, you were offensive by asking the question. They are girlfriend in the platonic sense. They've known each other since high school. Kathy's going to turn 65 in June. I don't know how old Patty is, but they're about the same age. They've known each other forever. And they fight and they break up and Patty gets mad at Kathy and Kathy gets mad at Patty and I have to hear it from Kathy. You hear what Patty? I'm out. I can't take it anymore. Ow, that hurt. I hit the socket out. I finally had to tell her last week after the cat story. No more Patty stories. I can't take it anymore. I've got enough of my own crap to deal with. i got to deal with your issues and my issues. I can't deal with Patty's issues anymore. It's driving me nuts. <sighs> Patty had a cat that wouldn't have a babies because Patty was staring at her all night. Give me now. I owe now. Bang my head on the table for an hour will feel good. Bonk, 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 bonk. No, you. What do you mean more clean? What the hell does that mean? And would do me a favor, Katie. I really, I, I know you're being nice, but please don't call me Georgie. I can't stand that. Um. I now have, uh, by the way, three, six, nine, twelve, twelve bags. I think that's a bag of coffee. Thirteen bags of coffee. Um, <coughs> but uh, I don't need it more clean. Look, I got the Pfizer vaccine. I got injured in December on the bus where I couldn't walk for weeks. I spent a lot of time in bed icing my knees down. Um, uh, 
they sent me a new form because I thought I'd lost the old form. Here's the form for County Connection, and as soon as I get my new credit card, I will... Uh, okay, well, just type G. <laughs> um, by the way, as an advice, as soon as I get the new card, I will be filling that out, setting up the California uh, County Connection, California Connection, got it open and filing for a claim for 25000 for pain and suffering because I'm still having after effects of being propelled like I was shot out of a cannon onto the handicap seat. By the way, if you ever buy a keyboard, don't make the mistake I did. Don't do this at home. Don't try this at home. Don't get one that's all black because you can't see the keys and I keep making mistakes. So... Um... My apartment is very messy because of a lack of money for months. I now have credit. Don't have any cash. I'm, I gave Kathy $135 on a credit card. So um, I gave her 300 on the stimulus money for the car fund. So it's, it's going out as fast as I'm on not printing it. <laughs> and... I don't have anybody to help me, and when my knees go out, I went down to feed the cat, I go down to feed the cats, and my left knee buckles, my right knee buckles, and I can't, or I can't walk in or get spikes of pain, that's another reason why this place is so messy, because I can only stand, I do a rack of dishes, that takes about an hour, and then my knee says it's time to lie down, and I sit the knees down, so... Now, Kathy's going to come over one of these days and spend the night and help me clear out stuff in the hallway by the bedroom and put clean bedding and stuff in storage bins, and we will fold up the bed if they will fit under the bed, and we'll put the clean bedding and the clean laundry in storage bins with inside a garbage bag with fabric softener sheets so they stay fresh. And then I won't have all this laundry everywhere. I've got clean laundry stacked up. I haven't put away. i got dirty laundry i got to wash. i got bedding i got to wash. So, oh my God. Well, there are people out there that are either cheap or too poor. Insurance is, un and the reason insurance is so high is because there's a lot of uninsured motorists out there. We've gotten hit by hit-and-run drivers. We got hit by Kathy's, one of our Priuses got run over while it was parked. The guy drove his 4x4 and put it in the 4x4 drive, four-wheel drive, and drove his Jeep over our Prius and killed it. We got $11,000 for that. We went and bought another Prius. We bought a bad Prius that didn't work right. But there's a lot of uninsured motorists out there. I got hit, my Cadillac got hit by an uninsured, unlicensed illegal alien. And they went after me for it, because at the time, my license was suspended, but I had no way to get to work if Kathy couldn't drive me that night. And um, I fought that for four years, and eventually it was thrown out in the interest of justice. They, He wanted me to pay for his car. He hit me so hard, it's on 84 Honda, the fender bumper flew across my windshield. My glasses flew out and broke. And he totaled the left the left rear quarter panel and wheel well of my Cadillac. I think you could kill an 84 Coupe DeVille. Four-door, they're tanks. They're made of metal like my 79 Caprice. So, um, and by the way, what I want for a car is the Toyota Highlander Hybrid Limited. Eat you, beat you, beat you, 5,000 bucks. Shoot the car and buy another car. Holy cow. Oh, my God, I feel so sorry for you. Holy, holy cow. What do you drive, for God's sake? And that's another problem. The old cars, my 79 Caprice, I had it three days. I drove it in L.A. I stopped in a parking space, and this guy backed out and hit the front of my car and shattered the shattered the headlight and drove off. So what do I do? I don't, don't have money for a headlight. Chrome housing. So I went to Home Depot. I got an air conditioning duct thing with 
aluminum around it that was circular, and I ta duct taped it to the front of the car to hold the new headlight in. So, yeah, Hyundai Elantra. Now, I don't know anything about Hyundais other than I think they're Korean, and they have a strange name. And I think Hyundai makes Transformers, not the, not the cartoons. <laughs> I know they're an industrial company as well as a car company. But I don't know anything about them, so. But we're into Toyotas because if you maintain them, and unfortunately we've gotten ones that were not properly maintained and were pieces of crap, uh, they'll run practically forever. So we're going to get the next one with the ODN port and the mechanic to come out and, and inspect the car before. We're not buying a car. Oh, it's a great car. Carfax, we not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're dead right about that. <laughs> and watch now, you you have started something. You'll see it. You'll see the new dealer prep anti seagull uh, coating. <laughs> that will be the next thing. They'll charge you ninety five dollars for dealer prep the seagull coating, uh, anti pro seagull protection. The problem with these cars, years ago, uh, there was a Chevy Monza, and the Chevy Monza was, uh, didn't hit the person driving it, hit a car, because my mother was in the back seat, driving us crazy, and the Monza had layers of aluminum, and they were flaked like a, like a, um, a Napoleon pastry. And if you hit that, the layers would come off and flake off. Now they're unibody. If you hit a Prius, if you hit one of these newer cars, it's all one piece. Not like the old days. You unbolt the fender, go to the junkyard, put a new fender on. Now you got to have somebody put the, if they can put on a whole new body. So, uh, or in some cases, the car get, you know, there are cars out there that get hit, they're totaled. You, you, you go look at carport, Copart sometime at all the cars demolished out there. Guys buy them for parts, or in some cases they can be they can be uh, 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 referred. But the problem is, I want cat to have the Prius for mileage. If I ever won the lotto and I spent money on lotto ticket, had uh, two of my numbers on it, but my regular numbers. But if I ever won the lotto. I get her a brand new Prius with 56. There's a Hyundai, I think. It gets 65 a gallon. I see a lot of Teslas running around, but the problem with the Tesla is where the hell are you going to charge it? There's not a lot of charging stations. <laughs> you get a shirt now, circle with, no, with a bar across, no seagull on my car. Or a parking sign, seagull free zone. No seagulls allowed. <laughs> I think that's one of the greatest comments I've ever read. It's funny. I sit at the Amtrak, and uh, it's curious. We're near the bay. No seagulls. There's hawks and little birds. And then we go down to Nordstrom and what flies by a hawk, a little couple little birds and a seagull. They like to go in the Nordstrom deck because people leave bread for them. All little bird shows. Nordstrom, uh, when we went in at about three o'clock. So uh, it used to be packed every day, but the indoor seating is all blocked off though. So. And it costs thirty four dollars for lunch, but Kathy was happy to get her. It used to be called Chinese chicken salad, but some uh, politically correct person must have objected. So now they call it Asian salad. And I expect any minute now they'll object to the words Asian salad. Alfred Hitchcock movie. Oh, the birds. Yes. Well, uh, I know the birds. I watched a lot of Hitchcock back in the day. So, uh, if I won the lotto, I, I would be tempted to um, buy like a Bradley. 
<laughs> armored personnel carrier. <laughs> that might be safe from collision. You know, no one's going to... And put a fake machine gun on top. You know. Berg security vehicle. All drivers to stay 50 feet away from vehicle or you will be shot. <laughs> I'm just kidding, YouTube. Sort of. Get me an get me an armored personnel carrier. Wouldn't get good gas mileage, but I wouldn't get no Hummer, even if it was one from Afghanistan or uh, refurbished for explosive devices and stuff. Cause they get they get like 12 miles a gallon. I think they they upgraded before Hummer went under. And it went to 15. <laughs> hey, oh, no, 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 no. The Bradley opens up from the back. There's a ramp there so I can ride my little uh, motorized wheelchair in there and um, Bradley. So <laughs> then we get out. I get maybe we could have two of them in there. It might fit two. It will be a troop of, it'll probably be a platoon of troops so we could have two motorized scooters in there with the air conditioning, the heater. I've already talked to the Canadian company. If I win the lotto, they'll put everything I want in there, including provisions to charge the iPads and the iPhones for videos. And it's solar powered, and I'd probably put extra stuff in there, extra batteries. Wipers, headlights, tail lights, doors, windows. Power steering will go 30 miles an hour and up a 30 mile grade, and as it 30 mile range, so I, I'd be ready. I'd be going to Vegas right now. I had one of those. Wouldn't need a mask. Just lock the doors and put a put the handicap placard on the front and say I got the vaccine. <laughs> I'm not wearing a mask. Can I air condition? Get a refilter. Get, I'm ordering a from Fingerhut. I have a catalog here somewhere. A new air purifier uh, that has the ultraviolet, which is supposed to kill the viruses. So. Uh, you know, if if the Bradley is able to be driven, Kathy will be able to drive it. Drive it. She won't like if the, the, she doesn't like large cars. By the way, it'd be fun to have my Bergmobile, my mini Bergmobile, is a scooter, the seven thousand eight hundred dollar scooter, and then my my armored personnel carrier. Or my could I could put Troll Patrol on it. <laughs> Online Troll Patrol. We smash trolls. <laughs> That's one reason I played a lot of I can get that scooter and you'd see a lot more live videos if I'm running around with air conditioning. And I it it goes in the handy it goes in the it goes in the bicycle lane, so I don't have to worry about having a driver's license and it can be put on a plane to travel anywhere. I could just put it in the cargo bay and Go to Vegas, go to Miami, go to L.A. Drop meets, drive around my machine, and then maybe have a maybe have somebody weld a tow bar on there, and I can have a little wagon towing all my computer equipment that I want to buy, or a cat litter, or whatever. You can't carry much groceries. And so... Um, <sighs> anyway, uh, Patty has insurance as far as I know, and of course we had insurance. It cost us. We had a really, we had a gone of a um, insurance agent who charged us renter's insurance. We told him he wouldn't want it, and then he charged us for insurance. He said that you had to have written paperwork to cancel the insurance so I called on their farmer's agent he said that's not true but he charged us insurance so we wound up paying six months of insurance so I will never have farmers again so when we get the and we got already we got screwed with State Farm the guy said don't push in the quarter panel the claims department after Kathy backed into a truck the claims department went, went and looked at it water got into it and fried the wiring of the Prius that we had a dead car. Either I 
I've already talked to Lydia at Allstate. Uh, so we get a car, the first thing we'll do, of course, is insurance, and then we gotta go register it. Now, the state is doing a thing now. They're only doing it for dealers, which I hope they change. They said they're gonna change it. You don't have to go to the DMV now to register a car you buy from the dealer. You just send in the paperwork electronically. And I hope that they do that with paperwork for private party sales because it would mean a lot of people wouldn't have to go to the DMV. And the requirement for um, the real ID for flying and going into federal buildings. I've never quite understood that. They're keeping you from going to a federal building. Your tax is paid for. One day I must ask my congressman or senator or Joe Biden if I ever meet him or Donald Trump, how come you're restricted from going into a federal building because you don't have real ID, but everybody in the country pays taxes in one form or another. And when you work, you I go into my building. Yeah, well, State Farm are, is dishonest, too. That, that agent, the guy she backed into said there was no problem. The, the dent on the truck was about that big. And he said he wasn't injured a week later. Oh, my neck is killing me. I got thousands of dollars. Damn it. They paid him $3,200. They sent him medical. It's nothing for our car, which is wrecked because he was speeding. And Kathy was backing out of a parking space at the post office, and she could not stop in time because he wasn't there when she started backing up, and all of a sudden he's behind her, and she hit, hit the side of his white truck. I told her after that, I said, from now on, if you ever are in an accident, you don't take their work. Donations are non-existent tonight. They're not slow. See, I got a lot of people that come in here and they think that I'm making thousands of dollars. That's the impression I get off of YouTube. I'm not. And I've never made... Hell, I've never made more than $200 off of YouTube in a month. So I'm not making a lot of money. No, Kathy was mad at me. She blamed me because we were... We were we had been fighting over something, who knows what. She was looking in the rear view mirror and I was looking in the back rear camera. There was no one there when she backed out. And all of a sudden this guy's doing about, the, the post office used to have a sign saying 15 miles an hour. That sign somehow disappeared. He was going down the driveway to get around traffic so they can get on the freeway. That's what he was doing there. He was doing about 60 when we hit him. And uh, he shouldn't have been there. So we lost our Prius. So I have tried over the years to tell Kathy, don't get angry at people because you're angry. Thank you, Kalel. Appreciate it. Um, she gets angry at people in the store. She gets angry at cashiers. And I said, look, these people are the cashier. One day she chewed some guy out because she, she didn't like the kind of ice cream she was, he was buying. I just shook my head, like, what the hell are you doing? Leave the guy alone. He can eat whatever he wants. And don't give grief to the cashier, too. So I try not to do that. Unless someone's being a total incompetent, then I'll say something. There are a lot of idiots out there who... Slam chowder? A lot of idiots out there who don't... Who should never be... Detail, but they don't know what they're doing. They're either incompetent or stupid particularly online things like credit card companies, banks, and customer service people. I had a guy laughing at Amazon. I said, first of all, what is with this music you guys play? Not just you, but Capital One. Dick, you would never buy on a CD or buy an MP3 or pay on Apple Store, but we've got it and we subject you to it every time you call the bank or the credit card company or your doctor's office. Where do they get this really crappy music? There was one, the guy was singing, he was singing what I thought was a love song, and the last word sounded like he was using the A word. <laughs> I go, what the hell is that? You could, another thing, a lot of rock guys, you can't understand them. Kathy was sitting here um, last 
on Friday, and she hears this music being played down the street, and she said, what in the hell is that? I said, El Cabong. <laughs> Quick down the road, oh my darling, oh my darling. And get a guitar, they think they can sing, and unfortunately they're playing it at super high volume, and you can hear it for blocks. And uh, it makes you want to go over like John Belushi and smash the guitar. So um, they, they're they horrible. There's a lot of people that think they, they get a guitar and somehow they understand a word they're saying. And they crank the volume up and, you know, buildings are shaking. And I, I go down the street. I'm sitting here in my apartment. I, it's, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five blocks away, and I can hear this music blaring like it's in my living room. So, um, so it's funny. By the way, I think I've only made forty bucks in the last month on Super Chat. So that'll give you an idea what how low I'm getting, or how little little support I get from chatters and viewers. And uh, I'm not demanding everybody do it, but it would be nice. This expense, other than rent, the credit card payments, and helping Kathy pay off. And cat litter. So, uh, so, anyway, that's about it. I have more things to go through. I thought that map was really cool. And I will put that somewhere. And, uh, huh. This came from Amazon. It came from Tracy up the road. I, it arrived in my mailbox today, so this will go get recycled. Sixty miles away, this thing came from, and I took about fifty envelopes of stuff and put them in a paper bag. I went through all the mail, but it's still stacked up like cordwood. I got to go through all this mail and say which mail do I keep, which mail do I throw out, and then move everything off the top here and put all in file folders. Like I keep receipts for the uh, T-Mobile for my internet bill. I need the codes and stuff. So I'll go pay that today. So anyway, I'm I'm. Uh, what am I doing here? A minute. I'm thinking about it because I'm one getting hungry, two getting tired. I'm thirsty, and Fuzzy is waiting patiently. And I get tired easily because this is still not healed. This is still all raw out here. And uh, I have to eat, but I have to take the vac to eat here and then put food on top and then run it back and forth to chew anything. I made a huge mistake, though. I bought food that I had to chew, like beef in the um, recalendered beef and potato. The beef is too tough, so I have to I have to cut it up from now on. But I think I should have just bought a whole lot of soup. Except that Progresso soup is expensive. We have to figure out with the crock pot, the, not the crock pot, the pressure cooker. They renew my snap benefits on the third. So I will probably go to the store and get the makings for something. I will put the pressure cooker on the cutting board. The problem is there's nowhere to put the second Know where to plug it in? I don't have a plug long enough. I have two two crock pots, so um, I could put food in the. I could make soup in the pressure cooker and then make something soft in the crock pot. I would like to see if I can withstand chili, but that means I have to clear off the stove, take, cook the ground beef. Although some say you can you can cook it in the oven, but I've never had success with that. So, it's a dramatic. Yeah. 
Yeah, except I can't lift this sledge matic This is as high as I can lift my right arm because the rotator cuff's torn. So I can't lift it. If I lift it up here, I start screaming. I'm not going to be doing any golfing anytime soon either. Um, yeah, sledge matic And he had, he had, Gallagher had heart, heart attack a while back. So I love Gallagher. Uh, Kathy was, uh, that made me think of something. Kathy was complaining that she, one of her teeth is broken. She needs to have it pulled. It's shattered. I can't eat cantaloupe with ice cream, but the, I, she said the blender will cut it up into chunks, but she put some nuts in the blender. It, <laughs> it, it took the nut. And this is something that's on the floor. And it turned it into slivers. This is a piece of popcorn. It turned it into slivers that big. <laughs> it took and just destroyed it. So, but she likes she likes to eat nuts. She can't chew the nuts. I can't chew peanuts. I woke up yesterday with eight peanuts under my back. I said, "What?" I would be eating before I had my teeth pulled. I'd be eating planter dry roasted nuts. I can't eat those anymore. I love them. Well, I can't chew them, but if I put them in the um, the uh, grinder, so <laughs> and I, no, I can't eat any. So, um, but she said I can grind up my cantaloupe. I'm gonna have to go over there one day and show her how to use the the um, chop feature and the grind feature. You don't hold it down for like 20 minutes. You push the button and, whoop, and you let go. <clears throat> but I don't think she's learned how to use this blender yet. And uh, I said, you know, you could take the cantaloupe and just make a smoothie out of it, make a cantaloupe smoothie. Uh, I like cantaloupe too. She likes vanilla ice cream, so do I. But uh, it's it's a big hassle cutting open the cantaloupe, taking all the seeds out, then cutting the thing away from the rind, throwing it around. You got to throw away the rind right away or it attracts flies. So um, if I have a choice between cantaloupe and watermelon. I'll take watermelon. The watermelon I haven't seen in my stores yet. And I bought two things of grapes. I gotta start eating the grapes tonight because I left one out in the living room because I came home from Costco and passed out and forgot about it. So, I got so that's about it. But I buy things for Kathy to make her life a little easier, like that blender and uh, other things. She wants to buy Pokemon cups. And we saw one cool thing on the bus is. Um, Mexican lady had a purse and she on her purse she had two little keychain Pokemons and the purse was all covered in, in like Hollywood Square on both sides I said oh that's really cool and Kathy said yeah I've seen that on eBay for $100 so if I had the $100 now that would be a video wouldn't it They'd go to Kathy's and okay we're gonna do sledge matic here here's the table <laughs> here's Kathy's cantaloupe Kathy will now sit here with a apron on and a hairnet and I will now sledge matic I could probably how much force I did to squash a cantaloupe <laughs> maybe I could hire someone to do sledge matic you know but Gallagher would sue me for stealing his stealing his trademark you know sledge matic I, I, before the pandemic, his shows were incredibly popular, and then he had a heart attack and lay off for a while. I would love to see Gallagher live, but I ain't sitting in the first three or four rows. Gets messy. Yeah, sled dramatic. <laughs> I have Gallagher videos in here somewhere. I love Gallagher. Well, I'm going to sled dramatic something to eat. And I have I haven't had any coffee today, which is very rare for me. But if I eat if I drink coffee now, I'll be running to the bathroom all night. So I think I'm going to end this. Excuse me, I am getting sleepy. Coming in, and thank you, uh, Top Cat, for the uh, neat map. And 
uh, and uh, watch what you say on the channel because Kathy's a sweetheart. Uh, we've had issues and we get mad at each other, but we always make up. We love each other. And we've known each other since 1977, so that's a very long time for two people to be together. Um, now she got married, and she got divorced from one, and the other one abandoned her, so. Um, she's still technically married, but, you know, and um, people come in there and make remarks about our personal life and it's just not allowed and shouldn't be done and my voice is going so all right this is George send to the guy from Pittsburgh have a great night I will be I have things that came in to the post office I will be picking go to the credit union and get my rent cashier's check and the check for the payment and I have to call them up. What's the address? Because I've misplaced the address to mail the payment. And then I will do a video tomorrow when I get back. Uh, 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 I'll get feed orange and tiny one in the morning and go get my packages. I have two items. And uh, one is for the iPhone. I it's too dark at night. And one is another item, so I can't really care at the tripod. It would scare Mama Cat. And, uh, oh, yeah, a lady came down with her dog while they feeding the kitties, and Mama Cat got scared and ran under the car. So I don't know if she ever got her food or not. I wish people with dogs would be more considerate of the cats. Okay, have a great night. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. Stay cool and dry and enjoy your evening and stay safe and I will catch you next time also because this chair after an hour starts hurting my butt. That's another reason I quit. I can't sit in this chair anymore. It starts to hurt. Bye-bye for now. I'll see you tomorrow night. Have a great night.